Today, people are checking in their bags at SeaTac Airport with ease, but yesterday routine travel turned into tragedy, something people say they have never seen before. My knowledge, no, um, not not and I've asked around our team and nobody can think of anything like this. Three people were taken to the hospital after airport officials say a red SUV accidentally accelerated and ran into people in an Alaska Airlines curbside departure area. Now a four year old is hospitalized and Port of Seattle police are still investigating. PD is asking if anybody saw anything or was here, has any information to share to just get in contact with them. This comes as the airport has been making safety improvements. The airport is in the middle of a curbside safety and accessibility project, which will take about a year to complete. I know they've been working on everything around here and uh, it's, it's a definite necessity for it. Part of the project includes bollards that are already being installed all along the arrivals level, separating the curb area from the road. The airport says this will only be happening along the arrivals floor, as that is where more people are waiting for extended periods of time and due to the structure of the curbside area. Passenger Craig Fisher thinks they are needed at departures where the crash happened as well. Yeah, and uh, we're in the arrivals right now. And up upstairs, the departures gets crazy busy. Um, and I could see it where, where traffic is, is merging on over really quickly. The airport says it is already planning to get rid of the curbside skycap check-ins as part of a project expected to be completed in 2026 to reduce the number of people in areas like where the crash happened. An incident people here hope never happens again. That's terrible news about upstairs. The airport says it is continuing to evaluate all safety enhancements and that it had evaluators out here today assessing the results of yesterday's crash. At SeaTac Airport, Connor Board, King 5 News.